So is Kamala doing okay? Nope. She's down, Joe. I, uh, I think they found out that she's... Now we're basically... Trump is killing us at the polls. So yes, we're going to lose Joe. Wait, wait. What if I come back to run again? As candidate? Yeah. Well, uh, let me put it this way, Joe. The only person in this world who is even more retired than Kamala Harris is basically you. So no, come Joe, on, man. you're just not going back yet. Shot. Let's let it all play out. Okay, let's just, we'll talk later, Joe. Okay. Women looking fine up in here. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Sleepy Joe Wing. You know, I don't know if that was really the conversation that was had in that clip, but <laughs> it was on point. If so, yeah, I'll be sitting back with nothing, uh, nothing good to say about Kamala Harris if I'm interacting with anybody in the DOJ, Obama, Biden. I don't even know if Biden realizes he's there, but yeah, I would imagine it's just some along the lines of the conversation. Uh, seriously, I know there's some lip reading and some manipulation, obviously, but you know, she's she's tanking. Everybody knows, the left knows, they know that she's a failure. <laughs> so bad, CNN is relentlessly exposing how bad Kamala Harris's poll numbers are. Nobody likes it. This is the Democrat versus Trump marching. And pair five years, four years ago, excuse me, Trump won among male voters by just five points. Look at where we stand today. My goodness gracious, Donald Trump doing considerably better among male voters, up by 12 points. That's a seven-point swing in Donald Trump's direction. Keep in mind that seven-point swing because I want you to take a look at what's going on with female voters, all right? What do you see here? There is no swing. Nothing's going on. There is no change from where we were four years ago, right? Biden versus Trump. Biden won him by 13. Look where Harris leads in the polls right now, by 13. The idea that women would be supporting a Democrat isn't so surprising, while men would be supporting a Republican. Again, not surprising. But the fact that we've seen this movement among male voters, and there's been no movement whatsoever among female voters, that, my friends, is quite surprising. It's something, honestly, I wasn't really expecting until I... This is the Democrat versus... Now, <laughs> after Kamala's disastrous interview last night, that clip was actually created, or, you know, it was generated before the interview took place last night with Fox News. Woo! But, uh... Here's a clip of CNN talking to it, uh, about to cry, like they're at a funeral, as this is. They know Kamala Harris blew it big time. She basically lost. She has no answer for why Biden and Harris threw out Donald Trump's executive orders and changed everything. And then a flood of people came in. An ounce of humility here would go a long way. And she doesn't have it in her to do it. And she has no real answer other than to blame Congress. And Brett was right. Democrats controlled everything when they took over. And so is she saying it's the Democrats fault that the immigration system is broken. I don't understand this. I don't understand why she can't just say hindsight here. We shouldn't have done it. I think the American people would actually accept it, but she won't do it. At the end of the day, Kamala, nobody's buying it. Nobody. And I like this little section that we in. We're going to keep the theme going with CNN, right? These black men on CNN, they ain't buying Kamala Harris lies either. White liberal women ex excuse Kamala as a result of her own soft bigotry of low expectations is what this reads. Let's check it out. Hey, well, wait a minute here. The vice president once upon a time supported taxpayer dollars, your money, my money, your money, all the people who are watching to go towards people who broke the law coming into our country to give them driver's license, to pay for tuition when we're struggling to pay for our own children mm -hmm. to get a college education. Then her own running mate signed into law in his own state these very things that she's now saying she's now against them. And, and the American people are supposed to believe that the vice president has now all of a sudden had an epiphany. And all of a sudden, all of her beliefs have magically changed. Yet the guy she chose clearly believes these things. And flipping it to Republicans? I mean, okay, 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 okay. I'll show you this last CNN clip before we, you know, uh, you know, switch to something else. I don't want to y'all to do more with CNN. Uh, but... Shout out to Gary D. It says, good morning, X World. CNN exposes Kamala's flip-flops on energy uh, that shows how radical and untrustworthy she truly is. Good luck paying for rising gas prices if you vote for Kamala Harris. Aaron, and this really shows uh, sort of just how far left that Kamala Harris got in that 2019 Democratic primary when she was running with Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Uh, she was making this extremely bold promise that she was going to take uh, the U.S. oil industry possibly 
criminally prosecute them for their role in climate change. She compared it to big tobacco, saying they knew the effects of climate change, uh, but they hid it from the public. Now we saw there, fast forward to 2024, what are her and Tim Walls doing? They are touting the record domestic oil production from those same oil companies during the Biden Harris administration. And well, how big of a shift is this? Well, take a listen to just one of those comments from 2019. Will you order your Justice Department and your Attorney General to investigate Chevron and Shell companies for their part in the and their damage to our planet in this climate crisis? I'm saying about these big oil companies and these fossil fuel companies, look, you should be really prepared to look at a serious fine or be charged with a crime. And they need to pay the price. So yes is the answer. And that's very different from obviously what we played uh, in the intro here. But that was not the only time she made comments like this. This was very much a theme for her. Take listen to a few other comments that she made in 2019. I took on big oil companies and won. We've taken on the big oil companies who are polluting. I took on oil companies who are polluting our environments. All right. Obviously, that is extremely different uh, Mm -hmm. than what she is presenting right now. But this isn't the only thing that she's flipped on that you found and you found a lot of other inconsistencies. Yeah, she's flip flopped on a lot of issues related uh, to energy. Take a look at just a few of them. She said she was going to uh, ban plastic straws. She said she was going to ban fracking. We have heard a lot about that. Uh, And she said she would eliminate the filibuster to pass the uh, pass the Green New Deal. Now, she also ran Facebook ads during that campaign, which were touting her support for the Green New Deal, which were saying that she was going to take on uh, big oil to uh, stop uh, for their role in contributing to climate change. Yeah, Kamala poll numbers are continuing to thump, thump, thump. Yes, this is why, you know, you can't have Kamala Harris without a teleprompter. This is exactly why. You have her without a teleprompter, you have somebody who can't think for themselves. I know she's not capable. It's a long laundry list of people who are working behind the scenes uh, to get her to do half of what she's doing now. <laughs> but trust and believe that. But Kamala Harris, since that interview that she did last night, which was horrible, even the people on my Facebook timeline who I know support Kamala was like, man, I can't do this. Like, literally, it was like, I, I just can't do it. Uh, Kamala Her- Kamala's poll numbers tanked. After yesterday's Fox interview and the market is reaching to a Donald Trump win, no matter what any rich person tells you, according to this post from MJ Truth Ultra about how horrible Donald Trump is, they know their money is safest with him. This is the proof. A Trump uh, it says a Trump presidency equals extreme regulation cuts, extremely low energy growth and stability. Yeah, let's check out this clip. Look at this market. The Dow scoring the 38th record close yesterday, now sitting at 43,077. What's your take in terms of allocating money right now? Well, what do you want to do before the election? You know, if you believe Trump will win, then, then you, you stay with, with financials and you stay with small caps. Uh, if, you, if Trump does not win, think about higher taxes and think about an even slower economy because a lot of the stuff is, is not submitted. It's, it's going to slow things down even more, more regulations, less stimulus. So, you know, it's it's really you've got to make a decision on who you expect to win. And I think that yeah. that lead in I mean, yesterday's performance was was really about some swing in the polls. Yeah. Do, do you think so? You think uh, investors are focused on this election and making bets around it? Massively focused on the election. And you think they think Trump will win? Uh, I think and right that, now that is the bet. Yeah. And, and that's why we're, we're talking about record highs. I, exactly. Yeah. Because less regulation, more stimulus. You know, look, you can argue about tariffs a zillion different ways, but but people expect that that's going to help America be more competitive. Mark, you agree with that? Uh, Without a doubt. Yeah. And when you look at just the performance of uh, of Trump favored sectors, you look at energy, less regulation has done very well. You look at financials have done very well. Less regulation, consumer discretionary, strong consumer has done well. Crypto has done well. And Stanley Druckenmiller, I believe it was yesterday, said that the market right now is pricing in a Trump victory based on the performance of bank stocks and crypto. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. What do you say, Mike? And so, and- yeah, Kamala Harris and Tim Walsh, man, y'all literally look like a dumpster fire, okay? Like, at this point, it's over, you know? Um, they they are in panic mode, and we know why. At this point, it's all, it seemed like a manufactured crisis is their only shot now, you know? You know? 